Marete Nishan, you're welcome back to my new video. This is 2026, okay? So this is my very first preparing video, Marete Nishan. I am very, very excited. So right here, I have a phone here. A customer gave me this phone to repay. Check this out. This is ITEL phone. This is the model of the phone. This is ITEL P662L. The customer complains that the phone is not increasing percent while charging. You can see here, we have here 9%. This phone can still show this 9% for a very long time. It can even take a whole day for this phone to get 5%. My technician, so let me show you the proof, okay? Camera, come close. Right here is my smart charger. Check this out. This phone is supposed to consume 1.5 or 1.9 amps while charging right here you can see that this phone consume only 0.2 you can see 0.2 you can see the watt about 1.1 1.2 watt consume you can see meaning that this phone will not gain percent this phone will not gain percent so to fix the issue i'm going to troubleshoot i will check all the components responsible for charging the phone i will check all of them one after the other if you have any question feel free let me know in the comment section so with that time wasted let's get started a technician before you can fix this type of issue you must understand the charging system of the phone check this out the first thing here is the charging port the second thing is the protective component the third thing is the flex that carry the voltage and the current to the main board. From there, the current gets to the charging IC and from there, the current gets straight to the battery and the battery is charged and we use the phone. So first of all, you have to start with the charging port. Check this out. The first thing, I check the charging port voltage, the output voltage from the charging port. Right here, you can see we have 4.6. My technician, we're supposed to have 4.8 or 4.9 or 5.0. Right on my multimeter screen, you can see that we have 4.6, meaning that something is wrong. The 4.6 voltage will not be able to charge the battery. The next thing is for you to check the charging IC, whether it's still giving the accurate charging voltage. To do that is very simple. Just connect the charger. Make sure that you disconnect battery. Go straight to the V bat. Right here you can see we have 4.1, 3.5, 3.6, 3.0. The output voltage from the charging IC is fluctuating. My day technician, don't worry, nothing is wrong. The problem is not from the charging IC. You may ask Father Joe, why is the output voltage fluctuating? The reason is that the charging IC charges the battery with pulls. You may ask Father Joe, what is pulls? Pulls is frequency. Take note. If you have question, let me know in the comment section. My technician, after confirming the charging IC, I discovered that nothing is wrong with the charging IC. The next thing is for me to go straight to the charging ports and check. Check this out. I check for physical damage. I check for open circuit. Check this out, my technician. You can see that the charging port is new. According to the owner, he told me that he changed the charging port newly. But still not working. Check this out. My day technician, the problem is from the charging port. So I will change the charging port and put a new charging port. My day technician, to change charging port is very, very simple. Just get your PCB order and start the work. Check this out. If you don't have blower, don't worry. I will show you the simplest method you can use. Check this out. You can see. Without even stressing myself, check this out. Very simple. You don't need blower to do this kind of work. Check this out. Just use your desoding wig and remove the lid. 
you can see very simple check this out you can see this last one is not clear because there is enough of the lead in the disordering wick so you have to cut cut that one out and then do again and boom you can see check this out but let me stay clean a little to make sure everything is nice check this out you can see very nice so the next thing is for me to apply lead just apply some lead check this out and you are done check this out very simple if you have question let me know in the comment section the next thing is for you to put your charging port make sure that you are using original charging port please because the charging ports that they changed before was not good that charging port was not good so make sure that you're using original charging port you can see this one this is original 100 percent working charging port just take your time to do it you can see i'm taking my time to do this just with soldering iron and you're good to go so let me put it here the result you can see very clean so let me take my time to do this just take your time to do this don't rush don't rush check this out i will be done i will be done i will be done i will be done check this out my dear technician i will be done i will be done i will be done <laughs> i will be done i will be done i will be done my dear technician i love this work i love this work check this out i'm done very nice very clean a technician confirm your work check it very well check this out just take your time to do it for your customer so that the phone will work you can see 100 percent fixed a technician you can see very clean work very very clean and nice check this out check this out my dear technician very clean work. Turn the other side. Make sure you check, confirm your work. Check this out, you can see. The next thing is for you to apply late here. Very important. So that the charging port will not expand. Because if the pin expand, the cable will not lap here very well the cable will not lap with the charging point very well the cable will be shaking and the owner will be complaining the result after that cleaning very well you can see there is mic so be very very careful do not allow your chemical to go near the mic so that the mic will not spoil it is a very clean and nice work, my dear technician. It is a, you can see we have protective components on the PCB. They are all working very fine. It is a, my dear technician, I'm done. So the next thing is for me to confirm with meter. Use meter to confirm your work because if you do any small mistake, the phone may stop working. So be very, very careful. Please take your time. Do not allow positive, which is the V bus, to connect with the negative, the data minus and data plus. Be very, very careful. Check all the pins. Because if you do a small mistake, the phone may only show charging lights and the phone will not turn on again. So please, 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 I beg of you, begging you, be very, very careful. Check this out. I'm still working on it, so I will be done. I want to test it for you guys to see. I want to test it. It will work 100%. My data technician is good to know how to troubleshoot. 
If you can troubleshoot, you're good to go. If you can troubleshoot, my dear technician, you're good to go. Just try and learn how to troubleshoot so that you'll be able to fix phone issues. Very simple. It is out. So now let me test. I will be done. I will be done. I will be done. My dear technician, if you have questions, feel free. Let me know in the comment section. My dear technician, time for testing. Check this out. It is that. Let me see if it works. I'm very sure it works because the problem was from the charging point. And right here, the phone was 9% before. Now you can see it's showing 10%. It is that, meaning that it works before it was 9. So let's also confirm from our machine. Right here, you can see that the phone consumes 1.3. You can see 1.3, not bad. 1.3, not bad. 1.3 is good. It's perfectly working. The reason why the phone consumes 1.3 is because the phone battery is down. I mean, it's totally down. It's totally down, so that's why. The phone is using high frequency to charge the battery right now. So that is why it's not drawing a lot of current. So that's why you see 1.3 amps consume. Are they technician? Are they technician? Let me know in the comment section. If you have learned something today, please let me know in the comment section. My dear technician, I love you all. Please, please follow me, subscribe to my channel, share my video, comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. All right, Jan, check this out. The phone is working 100%. Thank you. I love you all.